Hello, dear friend. Uh, today I'm going to talk about another topic of cardiology, uh, which has uh, some aspect mutual with the other specialties like neurology, internal medicine, and the others. Syncope basically is very common. Uh, almost one third of uh, American and maybe whole world uh, population, they experience syncope during lifetime. And the incidence is going up with our age, it means that the most common age that we get the syncope is when we pass the 70 and we get older than that. And considering one third of population they experience syncope, it's better that you have some knowledge about that because there is an almost 30% chance you experience it. So what caused the syncope is basically transient loss of consciousness or transient loss of probably perfusion to the brain causing that. When we lose our consciousness, we are not responsive and we regain it back spontaneously without any intervention. That's called syncope. Uh, almost 6% of visits in the emergency department every day is syncope. And a significant amount of hospitalization is due to syncope. So we are talking about very common topic that we better have some knowledge about that. The most common cause of syncope is reflex syncope, which almost uh, counted for 60% of syncope that we may experience. And what does it mean is that it's because of a reflex of the body. And the most common type of that is vasovagal. And what is vasovagal syncope if I want to explain to you in a kind of easy terminology, we all have an autonomic nervous system or a nervous system which works on its own in our body and it adjusts the blood pressure and heart rate on daily basis, moment by moment, depends what we are doing. If we are doing something very active, we are very emotional, we are angry or very kind of fighting with something, then one arm of the autonomic nervous system which called uh, sympathetic is going to be overactivated, creating the counter fighting or uh, basically the fight and flight hormones called catecholamines. And they increase the blood pressure, they increase the heart rate to be able to expose, uh, to be able to basically act and do what we need to do in that circumstances. On the other hand, the other arm of this autonomic nervous system does the opposite and called parasympathetic nervous system. And what the parasympathetic does is basically doing the opposite, decreasing the heart rate, decreasing the blood pressure when we don't need them. Like you're relaxing, you're sleeping, you're doing yoga or whatever makes you relax, makes your over basically more activity of the parasympathetic system. And sympathetic and parasympathetic, they are basically working, balancing each other moment by moment de de depends to the demand of our body. The problem is that when one of the two overreacts, if either it's syncope or pars uh, parasympathetic, sorry, sympathetic or parasympathetic. So when we talk about the overreaction of either arm of the autonomic nervous system, if our sympathetic overreacts, we are going to have higher blood pressure, higher heart rate without need for that. And that's in the group of people that they say that, you know, I move from one to other room, my heart is going crazy fast and I feel my heart is going up that way. That doesn't cause syncope, but it may cause heart racing. But the other arm of the autonomic nervous system, which is parasympathetic, if that overreacts, especially one of the nerve of parasympathetic called vagus nerve or vagal nerve, and that nerve or that system works really on different, uh, basically our daily uh, body activity and body reflexes that we need them. Like when we eat and the digestion needs the vagal uh, action to help with the digestion or basically there are many other uh, reflexes in the body that they need the vagal nerve to play a role in that. But if it becomes overreactive in an inappropriate way, then that's gonna create problem. 
if we are walking or standing or sitting in the church or in uh, praying in the mosque or anywhere and or you're outside in a weekend which is hot and you're enjoying with your family and friends and you're sweating and you're hosting the basically the function and you're not eating or drinking uh, or if you have a drink in your hand the overreaction of the parasympathetic system can cause sudden drop of blood pressure or heart rate or both and that's called vasovagal and what happens while you're sitting or standing all of a sudden because of a reaction of vagus nerve either your blood pressure or your heart rate or both of them they go down and what cause uh, due to that uh, vagal reaction what you feel is that you feel oh all of a sudden you're becoming very weak you're doing sweating blurry vision your vision goes kind of tonally and you lose your consciousness and all of a sudden boom you fell down or you fall from the chair and sad part is that you may get injury and of course if there are people around you they are going to freak out and they're going to call 911 or ER and you wake up you see people are around you are you okay are you okay or maybe paramedics are around you and they take you to the hospital in some circumstance so that's ways of vagal syncope since i don't want that your video is gonna go too long i'm gonna talk about the rest of ways of vagal and also the other reason of syncope on the next uh, video please follow on that thank you for taking your time and i'll see you again thank you bye